Uh, hi, I'm Jason Becker, and welcome to Road to October. Yeah, this is my weekly series where I take you on a journey. A journey between now and Halloween. Yeah, I, is there something else I'm supposed to say? Yeah, you're supposed to say this is episode 13. Oh, I, uh, this is episode 13. So join us on this journey in episode 13. Yeah. Uh, is my trailer ready? Make up! Manamana. 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 Alright guys, I've been getting a lot of questions as to what my affiliation with Haunt Shirts is and the short answer is I have no affiliation with Haunt Shirts. Uh, Melissa and James are just good friends of mine and they started up this t-shirt business and I was simply just trying to help them out by throwing the logo up on uh, the last few uh, episodes of Road to October and hopefully it's helped some but uh, as a thank you and also a thank you guys to all the subscribers that have come along in the last few months and all the positive feedback we've gotten on the Road to October. Um, Melissa and James has said we can do a giveaway on this episode, which I think is pretty awesome. So, this is what we got to do. Um, go on to Facebook, go on to Haunt Shirts Facebook page, give it a like, um, leave them comments and uh, you know, tell them I sent you or something. Um, but most importantly, come back here and down in the comments, just uh, leave a comment. And I'm going to use Big Ant's idea and uh, do a random comment selector. So, thank you for that, Ant. Uh, Ant, you're not going to be eligible because I hate your face. Um, just kidding, you're going to be eligible, but you probably won't win. So, yeah, that's all you guys got to do. Go like uh, Haunt Shirts' Facebook page, come back here, leave a comment, and um, you'll get to go on to their website, pick out a t-shirt design, pick out a size, and um, Melissa and James at Haunt Shirts going to send you a shirt. So, thank you very much for that, Melissa and James. That's very kind of you all. And, um, yeah, so good luck to you guys. Um, I particularly like this one. I think this one makes you look sexy. What do you all think? Sexy. Good luck, guys. Ooh. <laughs> so uh, this whole groundbreaker barrel thing that I've been working on, um, I decided this is the mask I'm going to use. Um, at first, I wasn't really crazy about it, but uh, I went back and uh, added some eyes in here, and I'll put a picture of them up real quick. Uh, I got them off eBay. Um, they don't look like this, obviously, when they come. I've already been playing around with different ones and whatever, but um, basically all I did was I took uh, two of these lenses and I painted or covered the whole thing with, this, uh, with contact cement and then did the same thing on the, uh, the inside of the mask and uh, wait about 10 minutes and pressed it in and um, the glue held the, uh, the eyes in place and the glue also gave it that, um, that really hazy look. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So yeah, um, here's the, uh, the barrel here. I uh, painted on the biohazard logo emblem thing. I might have made that a little bit too big, but I think it'll be fine. And then uh, the torso here I've been playing with. Um, I took some more of these, uh, I had a couple more of these China hands laying around that I use all the time and uh, just gave it a quick base coat of gray and um, then once that dried I uh, did a wash coat with a, a brown and just kind of you know painted it on wiped it off so that was a recommendation from uh, my buddy Al thank you for that Al so that uh, that worked out pretty good so yeah I think uh, I'm compare these two you know it's not a perfect match, but, you know, for this will be close enough. I'm putting a little bit too much more time than what I had anticipated on putting it in. So that's pretty much it. Um, I just got to get this thing put back together and do the whole great stuff around the, the top and paint all that and yada yada. So, yep, this is the, the groundbreaker, and uh, we'll do something else now. Ooh. <laughs> So also on this uh, barrel breaker, I guess I'm going to call it, um, it comes with a built-in, this uh, peekaboo comes in with a built-in amp, um, but uh, just hooking it up to a regular speaker didn't sound that great, so I went and perused Wal or, uh, not Walmart, Goodwill, and um, I found this, uh, I guess it's like a uh, surround sound system, but um, it had two price tags on it. One said, I don't know if you can see that, $14.99, and the other one said $4.99, so I had this subwoofer and these um, two little tower speakers here and uh, so 
I talked him into selling it to me for $4.99. This thing works pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'll show you what I did for the, uh, the audio on this thing because it's kind of cheesy, but it'll work. All right, for the audio of my uh, barrel breaker, I made a, a sound clip using four different sounds. And uh, it's kind of cheesy, but I'll share it with you real quick. So the first one here... It's just like this sloshing water type sound. Um, now keep in mind this is in a um, like an acid bath type thing. So um, we got some sloshing sound, and the next one is uh, some bubbles. <laughs> okay, so we got sloshing, and we got bubbles of the acid, and of course the acid is going to be eating the zombies. So you got to have some. Uh, frying bacon sound, right? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. I know it's cheesy, but uh, it seems to go with it, right? So, yeah, so the, um, the three of these clips together, uh, we got the bubbles, the sloshing, and the frying. <laughs> so that's the ambient sound of, uh, of the prop as it's just sitting there static. Um, and then for the, the screaming of the, uh, the zombie, you know, it's kind of like an old lady type zombie. So um, this audio clip came uh, from a, a Half-Life 2 character um, and we'll play all, well, here, I'll mute these other ones here and uh, play the scream. <laughs> I know that's super cheesy, but uh, I think it's I think it's pretty funny. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I just gotta load that into the Peekaboo controller and um, be good to go. So here it is all together. <laughs> uh, it's stupid as hell, but I'm going with it. Here we go again. Here we go again. Every time we try to do a video, it's because we have a, a couple cocktails. Todd's uh, trying on his um, costume, preliminary. How are we doing? Good. Zombie containment, guard. We digging it? We're digging it. Okay. We're set. What about We're, the pants? You got, you got the patches? Yeah, the patches are over I've here. Got, I've got pants. Well, no, I got pants. Oh, you do have pants. I bought you pants. You bought me pants. Well, I bought pants. I bought pants for you to you, use to use. I actually have use. this exact, I have a... Look, they kind of look like MC Hammer pants, but you can't touch these. Here, we'll get the patches. Make it official. That one, and, and that one. I'm gonna take my pants off. It's upside down. That should go up there like that. That should go. There. No. You're official. It doesn't go there. Quit breaking the vest. No, don't break. Hold on. We got more. What's that one? There. Upside down again. Now you're official. Again, upside down. Whatever. How you doing, MC? Good. Can't touch this? Can't touch this. Well, that's not my problem. You, aren't you wearing these same pants? No. Oh, oh you're wearing that gay cowboy outfit. <laughs> I'm not gay cowboy. <laughs> We got your helmet there too and your gas mask. It takes a... Oh my God! Todd! Can you see? Yeah, I can see great. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> you can see great. I don't know how to... What does this do? You press the button. Which one? The only button. Yeah! So does it look good? I think it looks good. We gotta dirty everything up, but. What uh, do I do with this? Um, put them in one of your multiple pockets or something. Can I just, like, stick it in your you can do that. You can stick it in your bra. That's fine. But yeah, that's cool. So how's it? Cut the lights out. I need to see if I can see in the dark. You won't be able to see in the dark. So the plan was to get up this morning and start setting up the cemetery, and wouldn't you know it was raining. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. Tomorrow's supposed to be better. It's supposed to clear up later this afternoon and then tomorrow's supposed to be uh, sunny. So hopefully tomorrow we can start setting everything up. So but today, um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So we'll see. 
All right, so my barrel breaker is completed. Got it all put back together and painted up and nasty and all that stuff. The uh, the great stuffed dingleberries I had all around here, I ended up just breaking those off and uh, painting over it. I just wasn't a fan of that. So I'm really not a fan of the um, great stuff there either, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I, um, I also took some... Uh, some of this glow-in-the-dark acrylic paint and mix it up with some water and sprayed the whole thing so um, under black light the whole thing kind of glows and stuff I'll at some point I'll get a, uh, a shot of that in the dark but uh, yep yeah, I'm pretty happy with it um, I think I said this before it hooks up to a, a peekaboo controller and I got a, um, a four channel um, RF remote transmitter things to, to hook up to these all my pneumatics are gonna be hooked up to this and probably the fog machine too and uh, yeah let me turn on the sound this is my uh, my cheapo stereo thing I got. These speakers are terrible. These are I'm not going to use these, but uh, yeah. Anyway, so I got the audio and. So yeah, pretty happy with that. I think it turned out all right. Um, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore, it's done. We'll push it off to the side and um, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get to start putting this, some of this stuff out. Hello? Okay, just a second. It's for you. The question is, what is a manamana?